I have been a bit surprised over the years regarding the number of students who have failed at calculating concentrations for dissociating substances. So if you are one of them, you are far from alone. As I see these students' errors, they are actually kind of unit error, and you might benefit from watching the video on unit analysis. See the link below. As the manuscript for that video already is rather long, however, let's go through the unit error in calculating concentrations in this video. I will assume that you are familiar with the equations c equals n divided by v, so mole per liter, c equals m divided by v, gram per liter, and n equals small m divided by large m. Please note that we can choose different units uh, for the concentration and that you will need to think carefully about which you use. Note also that neither mole per liter or gram per liter are the base SI units for concentration. Mole per cubic meter and uh, kilogram per cubic meter are the base SI units for concentration. In the video on unit analysis, I mentioned that a liter is not always the same thing as a liter. One liter of ethanol is not the same thing as one liter of water. To avoid unit errors when calculating concentrations, we need to be careful not only about the unit as such, but also what it is a unit of. To give you an example, let's look at this incorrect student calculation of osmotic pressure in 20 degrees centigrade liquid water, where 10 gram of sodium chloride and 2 gram of calcium chloride have been dissolved per liter of water. Now, we know that C equals N divided by V, and if no further information is given, we may assume that the osmotic pressure can be estimated using the equation pi equals the sum of R times T times all the concentrations. Furthermore, we can check the periodic table of elements and conclude that the molar weights for sodium chloride and calcium are 22.990, 35.45 and 40.078 gram per mole respectively. An incorrect student solution may look like this and try now to spot the errors. Assuming that sodium chloride and calcium chloride both dissociate completely, we get the concentration of sodium as 10 gram per liter divided with 22.990 gram per mole, which gives us 0.435 mole per liter. The concentration of calcium as 2 gram per liter divided with 40.078 gram per mole, which gives us 0.04999 mole per liter. The concentration of chloride is the sum of chloride from sodium chloride and calcium chloride, that is 10 gram of, uh, per liter uh, divided with 35.45 gram per mole, which equals 0.282 mole per liter, plus 2 gram per liter divided with 35.45 gram per mole, which equals 0. 0.0564 mole per liter. That is, the sum of chloride concentration is 0.339 mole per liter. Summing all these uh, concentrations together, we get 0.435 plus 0.04999 plus 0.339, which gives us 0.824 mole per liter. And we get the osmotic pressure as 8.314 times 293.15 times 0.824 or approximately 2,000 pascal. Looking at the units we have used, the concentrations seem to be correctly calculated, but not if we think carefully about what they are units of. The 10 gram in the task is not just any 10 gram, it is 10 gram of sodium chloride. The molar weight 22.990 gram per mole is not just any random molar weight, it is 22.990 gram sodium per mole sodium. So, if we expand on the first calculation using these more specific units, we get 10 gram of sodium chloride per liter divided with 22.990 gram of sodium per mole sodium and get 0.435 mole of sodium multiplied with gram of sodium chloride per gram of sodium and liter, which clearly is different from the unit we would like to have mole sodium per liter. Furthermore, you should see the warning flags waving uh, when you get that the concentration of sodium is 0.435 mole per liter, while the chloride from dissolving sodium chloride becomes 0.282 mole per liter. If you dissolve 
sodium chloride in water, you should get just as many sodium ions as you get chloride ions, right? Thus, our calculation does not make sense. What should we do instead? Since we have 10 grams of sodium chloride, the molar weight we are interested in is the molar weight of sodium chloride. Since one mole of sodium chloride consists of one mole of sodium and one mole of chloride, we get 22.990 gram of sodium per mole sodium times one mole of sodium per mole of sodium chloride plus 35.45 gram of chloride per mole chloride times one mole of chloride per mole sodium chloride, which gives us 58.44 gram of sodium chloride per mole sodium chloride. To calculate the concentration of sodium, we take our 10 gram of sodium chloride per liter and divide with the molar weight, 58.44 gram of sodium chloride per mole of sodium chloride, and then multiply it with how many sodium there is in sodium chloride, namely one mole of sodium per mole of sodium chloride. This gives us 0.171 mole of sodium per liter. Similarly, with calcium chloride, the molar weight is 40.078 times 1 plus 35.45 times 2 equals 110.978 gram of calcium chloride per mole calcium chloride. Again, we have only one calcium atom in the molar weight, so the concentration is simply 2 gram calcium chloride divided by 110.978 gram of calcium chloride. Uh, per mole calcium chloride, which gives us 0.018 mole of calcium per liter. For each dissociated sodium chloride, we get as many chloride ions as we, sodium ions, and for each dissociated calcium chloride, we get double as many chloride ions as calcium ions. Thus, the chloride concentration becomes 0.171 plus 2 times 0.018 which gives us 0.207 mole per liter of chloride. The sum of all the species now becomes 0.171 plus 0.018 plus 0.207, which is 0.396 mole per liter. Now there is only one unit error left to address. What are the units in the equation for osmotic pressure? With a gas constant R in Joule per mole in Kelvin, and the temperature T in Kelvin, R times T becomes Joule per mole. If we use SI base units for concentration, we get Joule per mole multiplied with mole per cubic meter, which is Joule per cubic meter. But Joule is the same as uh, Newton meter, and thus Joule per cubic meter is Newton per square meter, which by definition is Pascal. Thus, if we express the concentration in mole per cubic meter, we get 8.314 joule per mole Kelvin times 293.15 Kelvin times 396 mole per cubic meter, which gives us 965,000 Pascal, so 965 kilopascals. 